we discover that Audrey Spitz and Nick are now full-time detectives. Their friend Vikram, the Maharaja Govinden, invites the two to his wedding. The celebration will take place on the beautiful island. Audrey and Nick gladly accept the invitation. They hope their friendship with such an important person will help their failing business. On the island they meet Vikram's French fiancée Claudette Joubert. They also meet Vikram's coquettish business partner Francisco Paris. Audrey and Nick meet Vikram's former fiancé Countess Siko and her lady-in-waiting Imani. Vikram's temperate sister Syrah also arrives. They meet his brutal bodyguard Lou. Their old friend Colonel Alenga is now missing his left arm. He saved Vikram from an assassination attempt in Mumbai. At the wedding Audrey notices a strange cloaked figure following Vikram's elephant. A dead body falls from the animal and turns out to be Vikram's bodyguard Lou. The detective suspects that it is a diversion. He watches Vikram's abduction by a mysterious figure. The couple realize that they are once again ensnared in a conspiracy. Audrey and Nick determine that at least two criminals have been involved, one to create the diversion and the other to kidnap Vikram. The next day they are joined by a group of professional detectives. The team is led by former MI6 hostage negotiator Connor Miller. Suddenly the kidnapper calls and asks the detective to deliver a ransom of 70 million dollars to the Arc de Triomphe in Paris in exchange for Vikram. In Paris Connor takes the couple to the exchange point. The bad guys force Nick and Audrey into a vehicle at gunpoint. Inside the van the detectives fight them. Audrey and Nick win the battle, but the vehicle crashes into Cafe Procope. The detectives realize they are being framed for Vikram's abduction. There is a footage of Nick running out of the tent brandishing a big knife. Miller arrives. He clarifies that the footage is clearly a deep fake. Miller takes the bag of cash and asks them to meet him at the La Medellin. He is seemingly killed when his vehicle explodes. A mysterious person steals the briefcase, only to be robbed of it when hit by a car. Inspector Laurent de Lucra helps the couple. Audrey and Nick trace the truck to a countryside castle. The detectives are ambushed by Imani and Siku. They insist they are not the kidnappers and only want the cash. Siku shoots Imani. She then attempts to murder the detectives, but is herself killed by a dying Imani. Nick and Audrey escape. 
They called Delacroix and the others, requesting Vikram be brought to the restaurant at the Eiffel Tower. Vikram appears at the rendezvous. He is trapped into a bomb vest. The detective reasons that the bandit would never jeopardize the money. As Nick predicts, the bomb's countdown is suspended. Suddenly Miller, the mastermind of the abduction, appears. The man faked his death by hiding in a bomb-proof metal chamber within the vehicle, seconds before the explosion. Miller attempts to kill the people, along with Susan, alone some widow that was looking for her long-lost lover Gary. Audrey clings to his gear and is pulled to the top floor. Miller throws the woman who is still connected to his harness off the tower. The two men engage in hand-to-hand -hand fight, culminating with Nick opening the briefcase. He disperses the money into the wind. Meanwhile, the team helps disengage Vikram's bomb and Susan tends to Delacroix, who was shot by Miller. Delacroix and Susan instantly fall in love after he shows her how to make circles with smoke. Up on the top floor, Audrey reappears. She helps Nick tie Miller's harness to the tower's elevator mechanism. They throw Miller into the rotor blades of his getaway helicopter, which explodes and crashes into the river. At the restaurant, Audrey mistakes Cyrus duck and hand for blood, but the woman insists her henna smurred during the commotion. The detective realizes that Syra was not present when Vikram's elephant was ushered into the reception ceremony. She recalls that the cloaked figure who killed the bodyguard had a wet henna stain on their clothes. Syra is the second conspirator. The woman was upset that Vikram's parents gave him sole control over the business. Saira had previously tried to kill Vikram in Mumbai. Exposed, she attempts to shoot Vikram, but he is saved by Alenga. Claudette knocks Saira out with the briefcase. With the commotion concluded, Claudette and Vikram decide to escape. They give the detectives 10 million dollars. In Greece, the couple is accosted at gunpoint by the helicopter pilot. The pilot steals the money and jumps out of the helicopter, leaving them scrambling for the controls.